Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side Rahul Nagan here. I'm talking on behalf of Treasury Consulting LLP, which is a limited liability partnership firm incorporated in India, India having multiple business revenue streams. I'm acting as the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we're going to speak about a very very interesting topic which is Indonesian Rupee Next Carry Currency. If you look at our YouTube channel, you will find out that there are two or three videos pertaining to USD INR as a carry currency and we had also published a video which is USD INR reverse carry. Now this time we're going to speak about very specific topics. I hope you might have read this in the newspapers in the magazine that foreign exchange uh, is facing a lot of volatility and today all the hedge funds are very very focused on Indonesia. Indonesia is a country which is known for huge volatility in the foreign exchange market. Now there was a time when one Indo Indonesian rupee was trading approximately 20,000 versus dollar and there was a time when currently it is trading approximately 11,400 something which is roughly you take it as a 12,000. And Indonesia is always also a very very known place for Indian people to go and travel because they it's because one dollar is equals to 12,000 Indonesian rupees of course you would able to buy a lot of stuff in Indonesia. But in the last seven eight days, not seven eight days preferably preferably two weeks, Indonesia is known for some other reasons in the market. It is known out to be a carry currency. Now before starting this video first it's my duty to first explain you what do you mean by a carry currency. As we understand that in the last at least 10 years since 2008 and when it comes to Japan in the next 20 years, last 20 years, they came up with a lot of quantitative easing. So huge amount of quantitative easing had and happened in the market which led to almost zero interest rate policy. So when Mr. Bananke was there as a, as a head of uh, Federal Reserve, he promoted a policy which is ZIRP zero interest risk policy so zero interest rate policy and sitting today Tokyo, Swiss franc to an extent England and some other countries are following a policy NIRP which is negative interest rate policy technically speaking this is not correct this should not happen but unfortunately we are not the regulators and regulators really want to go at and this would definitely happen now from zero interest rate policy to net negative interest rate policy, this has impact lot of currencies. So take an example of a dollar, very simple. Now if you look, if you look at any American bank, financial institution, hedge funds, HNIs, you will get to know they are earning maximum 0.4050%. This is max. The implied federal funds rate is equals to 0.43 percent. So the maximum earning which these funds are giving is approximately between zero. I will refer this as X and refer this as 0.43 percent. If I go as per the Fed, this is zero, this is X, this is 0.550 percent. But there are many economies across the globe who are ready to give you much more than what exactly your country is offering. So they are creating a carry. Now this is a foreign exchange term. Carry means a phenomena. When you leave your country and you go to outside your country and you will get a much more income than what your country is giving to you. If I speak in a hardcore technical term then carry is nothing but a phenomena of the repatriation of the money. First you will patriate your money to some other country and you will earn a huge amount of interest and then you take it back then you repatriate it back this is what all this is this is carry this is what carry is all about right now sitting today the world has divided into two set of two set of carry currencies one is asset back carry currency one is liability back carry currencies now asset back carry currencies are also known as investments liability back carry currency are also known as funding in the asset back carry currency, the three pairs are very well known. One is USD INR, one is Australian dollar, one is dollar to Singapore dollar and one more which is joining the league is USD to Indonesian rupee. In funding, you would have one currency which is USD to JPY, which is Japanese yen. Now let me explain in simplistic tone. If you are an American investor, what maximum you would earn, it is 0 to 0.43 percent, right? Now if you if you come to India then you would be able to earn at least 6.5 percent consider the current repo rate. You would be able to earn. So at one place you are earning 0.43 percent at one place you are earning 6.5 percent. So there is a big difference between these two 
there is a big big difference between these two earnings now what would happen now people prefer to sell dollars in us repatriate inr in india invest here for a period of time which is generally one year and then take this money out of india sometimes this is the, the sometimes the route which people are using is also known as participatory notes or shortly known as pn so the route is sometimes also known as participatory notes the same is the case with the audit aussie dollar in us you will get 0.43% in australia you will get at 2.5% in dollar terms so choice is very very visible right secondly is dollar to singapore dollar dollar to singapore dollar now singapore dollar is also turning out to be carry currency because singapore dollar wants to increase their interest rate to move to 1.4% by december 2017 and with this that turning out to be a carry currency one more important aspect about singapore we all know it is a global treasury center being a global treasury center gtc you are having offering interest rate to 1.4% by 2017 which means a lot to any foreign institutional investors fourth which is we are talking about indonesian rupee which is turning out to be a carry currency now here is a few research which i did about about indonesian rupee and i hope this will help you in making sense that how indonesian rupee is turning out to be a carry currency number 1 indonesian central bank has not followed the accommodative monetary policy unlike other central bank accommodative monetary policy accommodative monetary policy means you continue to decrease the rate of interest and you want to stim stimulate your economy unfortunately australia is doing that and unfortunately india is doing that if if india would continue to decrease the repo rate and australia would continue to decrease the overnight rate then the day is not far when these two currencies will act as a reverse carry and they would come here second point indonesia expect the gdp growth of 5.5% for the year 2016 and approximately 6.5% for year 2017 which is absorbedly good sitting today when china is facing a huge volatility things are making thing things are in mess things are turning up wrong a country like indonesia is growing at the rate of 5.5% for the year and 6.5% projected for next year is exorbitantly brilliant last sorry not last bank of indonesia which is central bank made it clear that no rate cut would happen in the near future which is 2016 so not they are not going to follow the league of which is accommodative monetary policy unlike european central bank which has kept interest rate negative swiss franc you are japanese yen you are india you are australia united states you know that although they are turning hawkish but they have no no fire power to do this so they made it clear that they are not going to cut the interest rate so they are not going to follow the accommodative monetary policy now indonesian 10 year bonds is trading at 7% this is very interesting i want to highlight here indonesian bonds i am writing indonesian bonds here i bonds which is trading at 7% on the other hand g7 is trading at 0.66% and period which i am referring is 10 years now tell me if you are an american investor whose bonds is getting traded at 0.66% you are earning a yield of 0.66% on the other hand you are earning another yield of 7% you have the answer with you where you would go secondly the currency is not very much depreciating now this video is not allowing me to tell you how to hedge the carry trade but there is a way you can hedge the carry trade so if you are having an intention in your mind that 1 dollar is approximately approximately 12000 idr sitting today and 1 dollar would touch maximum 25000 idr there is a volatility in the currency so you can also also do hedging of the carry trades now the main important point sitting today which is approximately 29th of july or we are entering into the august 2016 more than 20 trillion dollar of our sovereign debt is in negative which i mentioned here negative interest rate policy more than 20 trillion dollar of our sovereign debt is facing negative interest rate policy now tell me if you are acting as a foreign institutional investor who is having say 10 million dollars who is having 10 million dollars which is a small amount which i am taking this is your corpus 
the G7 are, are giving you 0.66%, Indonesia is giving you 7%, you know how to hedge the carry trade. And you know that and sitting today, 20 trillion dollar of a sovereign national debt is in the negative, negative interest rate. Would you go to Indonesia or not? This is why the purpose of the video is getting served that Indonesian rupee is turning out to be the next carry currency. And I may not be surprised that if Reserve Bank of India or Central Bank of Australia would continue to decrease the interest rate, these two will continue to move towards reverse carry. On the other hand, Singapore dollar and Indonesian rupee will, will move towards the carry currency. Japanese yen, we all know about that. Japanese yen in the funding currency, you will first take the funds in the Japanese yen, then you convert into dollars and then you invest in your country. Because here, the interest rate is approximately 0%. This was the purpose of the video. You are most welcome to contact us at treasuryconsultingllp at the rate gmail.com. Our alternate email ID is rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com. Our mobile number is 9899242978. We are very happy to share that Treasury Consulting LLP has already made its logo and our logo would be available soon to, to all the investors across the globe. Our website is on the way. We are soon coming up with the website which is by end of August you would expect our website and we are very pleased to share that the Treasury Consulting LLP did an international collaboration in the research space with WBR which is Worldwide Business Research which is a leading research based company in Singapore and they have offices across the globe. WBR is, is coming up with, with variety of uh, you know uh, conferences. They are doing more than 100 international conferences in a year and I myself is uh, coming up joining a conference in November 2016 on foreign exchange wherein I am going to speak about a foreign exchange topic. As a Maverick, Traded, uh, Maverick Traders member you will get uh, you will get a, a discount of 15%, maybe more than if, if, we, if, we, if we negotiate on behalf of WBR. We request you to please go to the WBR website and look at their websites. And I hope this video serves you well. Thank you and have a good luck.